Hello everyone and welcome. In our lesson today, we're going to be looking at how to represent real numbers or floating point numbers in binary. Now this is going to be a longer than usual video because there are multiple steps and multiple um, operations that I will be demonstrating in this video. So, to understand the concept, of, the concept of representing real numbers, I'm going to go through a, a few notes with you on understanding number sequence. So let's look at a typical number sequence for a base 10 number. Now, in a base 10 number, we know that we are dealing technically with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and then it just carries on and what this simply means is that if I have say for example the number three seven two three point two five as an example we know technically speaking that this value here is to the thousand this value here is to the hundred this value here, the 2 here, is to the tens, and the 3 here is to units. Now, if we take the decimal point there, the value just after the decimal point we know is 1 tenth. The value just after the decimal point we know it's to 100, and then it carries on that way. So that's what happens when we look at numbers in base 10. Now, with numbers to base 2, this is slightly different. So with numbers to base 2, we know the number sequence would extend say 16 and then we have 8 and then 4 and then 2 and then 1. Then our radix point there, if you look at our radix point there, um, we have numbers after this point becomes 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 8, 1 over 16, 1 over 32, and then it carries on that way. So technically speaking, with number system, like 1, 0, 1, 1, point, 1, 1, okay? So this value here we know is to 8. That 0, 4, but it doesn't count because it's no, it's 0. Um, 2, that value there is it's 2 that's one now this value here becomes one over two and this value here becomes one over four and then it carries on that way another key thing i would want to you to make note of is a concept of mantissa and exponent now with mantissa the mantissa represents the significant digits of a number and the exponent of that number is the power to which that number is raised. Now what I'm simply describing here is, let's say for example, we have in a typical maths lesson, you might work with something like this, 7.125 times 10 to the power 3. Now all this simply means is that this value here is a significant digit and that's our mantissa. And this value here represent our exponent. In this lesson, there are certain key things we're going to focus on. Okay, I will be making use of 10-bit mantissa and 6-bit exponents. Now, the reason I'm doing this is um, that's what in uh, most exam boards would go for. They would normally have their mantissa to be 10 bits binary and their exponent to be 6-bit. However, they can change this as well, so just look up, um, read the question carefully and try and identify um, how they've ex uh, what they expect, how, they've ex how they expect you to express your mantissa and your exponent. So, we're going to look at different variants of this. So, that's why I told you that this will be a longer than usual um, video. We're going to look at a negative a positive mantissa 
and positive problems with positive mantissa and positive exponent. We're going to look at problems with positive mantissa and negative exponent. We're going to look at problems with negative mantissa and positive exponent. And then finally, we'll look at numbers with negative mantissa and negative exponent. Now let's say, for example, we're asked to convert this 10-bit mantissa and 6-bit exponent to denary. Now, one thing you should first look out for is what the value of the most significant bit is. If you've watched the video on working with negative numbers, you may remember that what we said was that if a number begins with that all positive numbers begins with zero and all negative numbers begins with one so looking at these two values we've got here the mantissa here begins with zero and that should tell us automatically that we're working with a positive mantissa and the exponent here begins with zero that tells us we are working with a positive exponent so in our example here we're looking at positive mantissa and positive exponent now another thing you should make note of is whilst in the exam you may have the values written out like this I want you to always imagine that with your mantissa you always have a radix point after the first bit after the most significant bit here so always imagine that your radix point is so for example here we would have not point one one not one 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 not 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 so try and remember that okay and your exponent will just remain as your exponent remember we have said that the mantissa represents the significant digits so this is the significant digit that we'll be working with and the exponent here represents the power to which the number is going to be raised so the first thing I'm going to do is to find the value of the exponent I'm going to find the value of the exponent so I like putting these in steps so in my step one I'll just say find the value of the exponent and in this case the value of my exponent so I know that the exponent is not 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 one not not and I know if I convert this value the exponent is four so what this technically means is that I am working if I have to rewrite this value here it means I'm working with not point one one not one 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 not 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 times two to the power four if this was a decimal number I would have said times ten to the power four because we're working with binary and binary is to base two I'm saying times 2 to the power 4. So if it's times 2 to the power 4, it means that I would have to shift my decimal point four places to the right. So I'd have to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm shifting the decimal place or the radix point four places to the right. This leaves me with not one one not one point one one not 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 okay now once I found my value the second step was to shift the decimal point so step two was to shift the decimal point in line with your exponent so in this case we've shifted it four places to the right then the final bit there is to use our number sequence 
we would have to use our number sequence now to convert this to its DNA form. And using our number sequence, I know that because this is a binary value, I have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And going this way, I have 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 8, and it goes on that way. So, the only values I need here, in this case, will be 8 plus 4 plus 1 point point 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 so this value here this value there is no need to add those values there because we have 0 underneath them so if we do this 8 plus 4 plus 1 gives us 13 point half plus a quarter gives us seven point point seven five so this value here this mantis iron exponent when converted to dinary gives us thirteen point seven five okay In our second example, we're going to convert these values here. So that's our 10-bit mantissa and our 6-bit exponent. Just to reiterate, I'm making use of 10-bit mantissa and 6-bit exponent in my examples because that's what most exam boards do. Once again, like I said, always pay attention to what the question is asking you to use. In this case, Like I said, identify what the sign of the values you're working with is. When looking at these, I know that because this begins with zero, that my mantissa is a positive value. And because this begins with one, my exponent is a negative value. So I know that just by looking at um, the values here. So the next thing I want to do is to find the value of my exponent. So I would want to solve for my exponent. Now my exponent here is a negative value and this means I would have to use represent it in its two's complement form. To do that so if I do this, it means I'll flip the zeros to one and the ones to zero. So I'll have zero, 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 one, and then I'll add one. So currently it's in this ones complement form. And if I add one, I'll have zero carry one. Zero plus one is one. So there's nothing else. For me to add there this is the value in its two's complement form now so i know that this value here is two so if i represent this in dinary i know my exponent is two but let's not forget that i'm working here with a negative number it means two here becomes minus two so remember what i said that each time you see this value here, always remember there is an imaginary decimal or radix point here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write down this value again to represent it correctly now. I would have not point one one and all zeros one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10 times 2 to the power minus 2. So my exponent there is the value minus 2. So what this indicates is that because it's a negative number, unlike what we did in the posit when it was positive, we would have to shift the decimal point two places to the left. left. It means I would have to move this radix point 
1 and 2. Okay. So that's where my, my point, my red X point will be. I keep interchanging it with decimal point, but you won't lose any marks for that. The actual term should be red X point. Now, to do this, if if I represent this correctly, or if I write this out down, what I'm left with now is now not point, not, not, one, one, and all zeros, which doesn't matter. If I then represent, if I write the number sequence down for this, I know that here I have 1, at this point I have 1 over 2, this point I have 1 over 4, this point I have 1 over 8, and this point here I have 1 over 16. The only two values I need is 1 over 8 and 1 over 16. So, it means that what I have here is not point or zero point one over eight so one over eight plus one over sixteen and if I add these two together I'll get zero point one eight seven five So, these value in mantissa and exponent when represented in denary, into its denary, denary form, I'll get this value, 0 0.1875. Okay. In our third example of converting floating point numbers to denary, we are working here. So remember what we've said so far, that we try and identify what our mantissa is and what are the, the sign of our mantissa and the sign of our exponent. So looking at these two, you can see here that we are working with a negative mantissa and here we're working with a positive exponent. So our mantissa is negative, our exponent is positive. Now the first thing I always like to do is to find the value of my exponent and to find the value of my exponent I know my exponent is 2 6 so 2 4 which gives me 6 so my exponent is 6. Now for my mantissa my mantissa is negative, which means I have to use 2's complement. I have to represent it in its 2's complement form. So, if I write down my mantissa and space it out. So first, to represent it in its 2's complement form, I would have to first represent it in its 1's, to its 1's complement form by flipping the 1's and the zero so this becomes zero zero one one zero 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 one zero one and then I'll add one to this out result here so if I add one to that result I'll have one plus one is zero carry one zero plus one is one nothing else to add so I'll just bring down these values Okay, so what I have, remember what I've always said is you must always imagine that there is that red X point. Okay, after your most significant bit there, there's that red X point there. So if I have to represent this now, what I have is not point, not one, one, not, not not one one not times two to the power of my exponent which is six okay so I'm sure you've guessed it 
it means I'll have to move my decimal, my radix point, six places to the right. So I'll have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means I now have one. I write it in full, so I write not not one one, not 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 point one one not. Okay, so this is the value that I now have. So I have one two four eight sixteen. Okay, so for these values here, I have to say sixteen plus eight. And this gives me 24. Point. That's 1 over 2. That there is 1 over 4. So point 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. And 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is 0.75. So it means that... Our final answer is 24.75. Now remember that our mantissa is a negative value. It means that our final answer here would have to be minus 24.75. In our final example of converting floating point binary numbers to binary, we're looking at two values here, our mantissa and our exponent. Like I've always said, the first thing you want to do is to identify the sign of your mantissa and the sign of your exponent. And you can tell quite easily now that because it begins with a 1 here, it means we're working with a negative mantissa. And because this begins with a 1 here, we're also working with a negative exponent. Again, you can still see we're making use of 10-bit mantissa here and our 6-bit exponent. Having identified the sign of both values, the next thing we'll need to, I, I, I always like doing is I always like finding the value of my exponent. Now, because these values are negative values, we would have to use twos, would have to represent them in their twos complement form first before we do anything. So, representing um, my exponent. in its twos complement form in its twos complement form I would have my exponent as one 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 I'll flip the ones representing it to its ones complement form first flip the ones to zeros and zeros to one in this case we have all ones so we'll have not 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 okay and then to two's complement form, we add one. So if we add one there, that just gives us one, not, 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 not. It means here that our exponent is one. Okay, so the value of our exponent, our exponent is one. So we go on to find the value of our mantissa. So we have to represent our mantissa in its two's complement form. In its two's complement form. To do that, I write down the mantissa, which is one, 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 it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I represent it in its ones complement form first by flipping the ones to zeros and the zeros to one. So here I'd have not, 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 and then all ones. 
and to its two's complement form I'll just add one to the result here so if I add one I'll be left with zero carry one one plus one is 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 zero carry one zero plus one is one zero zero okay you can see at every stage here I am showing my walking so this is a two's complement representation of my mantisa so if I have to write this out again remember we've always said that there is that imaginary radix point there which is not normally written so the questions would normally be set like this but there is that point there so we're going to indicate that now by writing it out in full so I have not point not one four five six seven eight nine ten times two to the power one because it's two to the power one I'll take that back um, my exponent is negative so my exponent here is minus one it's minus one there not just one it's minus one so that's two to the power minus one so because it's minus one it means I would have to shift my decimal point one place to the left okay so I shift my decimal point one place to the left so this leaves me with zero point zero zero one So, I know that this is 1 over 4. If I write out the number sequence, that's 1 over 8, and that is 1. So I'm, I've got that wrong. This is 1 over 2, that is 1 over 4, and this is 1 over 8. And 1 over 8 in fraction so 1 over 8 is 0 0.25 0.125 0.125 so it means here I have 0 it means here that I have 0 0.125 remember that our exponent here is a negative exponent okay so similar to sorry our mantissa is a negative mantissa similar to our exponent that's a negative exponent hence our minus one here so because our mantissa is a negative mantissa it means down here I'm going to have to put a negative value there so our final answer it's minus 0 0.125